We're doing some laser cutting tests on latex. We're trying to create our own custom made gaskets. We found some scraps of latex that we're just doing some initial tests with. We put painter's tape on both sides of the latex to flatten it out and to make sure that any of the melted latex residue doesn't melt back onto the original latex, it will come off onto the painter's tape. Latex is flammable. So we are dampening a piece of MDF as a background. This will help to keep some of the flames from sparking up. So then we're jumping over to our Lumos laser. And if you're gonna do this, I would be very careful because the latex is flammable. You really wanna make sure that you're doing this in a controlled environment. And you wanna make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area and that you're venting all of the fumes out of the laser just to keep your lungs safe and healthy. The moisture of the MDF will curl the corners of the latex, especially because of the painter's tape. So we're using some washers just to weigh down the corners so that the laser is focused on a flat surface. All right, let's go set up the software. We create has a pretty cool software and we just imported a test gasket shape into the software and we're getting it set up to cut. We're using 100% power, 10 millimeters per second and five passes. Five passes seem to work pretty well in cutting all the way through this thick material, but your settings might be completely different. I would definitely recommend doing a bunch of tests before doing any serious cuts. We're also using the blue light on the Lumos laser. The Lumos has two lasers, a red light for doing metal engraving and a blue light for more general purpose engraving and cutting. All right, now we're sending off this design to be cut. Again, there's going to be a lot of fumes and maybe even some flames here, so play it safe. Cool, let's check it out. It's looking good. So everything cut really clean and nice. Just need to pull the tape off. It's a little dirty because of the laser soot, but the results are great. It's very accurate. This should work really well for our water block project. We're probably not gonna use latex for our final gasket, so we might need to dial in the settings a little bit better. Look how cool that is. Boing, boing, boing. So this was all cut on our We Create Lumos dual laser. Pretty cool little machine.